Today we're hacking one of yours and my favorite things that they carry a Dollar Tree each year, their mini Christmas trees. Hello and welcome, my name is Shannon from the DailyDIYer.com. So like I said, this is one of the most fun things that Dollar Tree carries that I love to work with each year. I've done several different videos in the past that I will make sure to link at the end of this video. If you're looking for more creative ways to use these miniature Christmas trees, then definitely check out those videos after this one. But I have some brand new ideas that I can't wait to share with you, so let's dive right into the first project. So these hacks started way back in 2019 when I posted this video of a snowflake wreath using Dollar Tree Christmas trees. We're gonna go back. I wanna give you the basis of this DIY again in case you missed it. But we're also gonna be adding on and taking this project to the next level. But I wanna give you like the basics of this first. So you need six of these mini Christmas trees. We're gonna put two together first using some hot glue and some wire and then of course putting them end to end like this you need three of those total we're going to crisscross them in the center using hot glue and some more wire and that's going to give us the shape of our snowflake wreath so i am just keeping this kind of short and sweet if you want to see this full tutorial you can go down to the description box and i'll have that full video linked for you so you can go back and see it detailed but for the most part we are just making this into a snowflake and once we get that center all connected we're fluffing those branches up. If you wanna add a frosted look, it's as easy as taking some white paint and just going over the branches to give it a snowy look. And then you can embellish it however you want. I added a bow to the center, added some pine cones and some greenery and some berries and got this beautiful piece, which everybody has just loved, but I have a update to this for this year. So I got a lot of messages based off of that tutorial, how cute this would be using the white Christmas trees. You guys sent me your pictures. I loved them. I wanted to make my own. So this time I grabbed six of the white Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. We're going to put this together in the same way. We're gluing these end to end two at a time. We need three sets total. Hot glue them, use some of that floral wire, wrap the centers. If you have silver wire, I would recommend that. It'll blend a little bit better. I just had the green, so always use what you have on hand first too. Once we get all of these wired up together, we're gonna put it together the same way. We're gonna take each one of these and crisscross them in the center. Use a little bit of hot glue first, lay down your first layer, and then again, add your third layer on top, crisscrossing the opposite way. Once that glue sets, you can go ahead, add more wire around the center and it becomes one big giant snowflake just like this. And you can embellish it however you want. Keep it nice and simple if you want to, but here's another idea. Do you know Dollar Tree carries Christmas trees for different seasons and holidays, including Easter? Look how cute these iridescent Christmas trees are. I picked these up, of course, long ago in the spring, but it'll be coming back around. So keep your eye out. These Easter trees will be back next year, I'm sure. I wanted to grab these and see what these would look like as a snowflake too. So the same process, we are just crisscrossing these six Christmas trees in the center, wiring it all up, and look how pretty this iridescent tree snowflake looks again you can embellish it how you want keep it simple if you want we're going to take these two trees and layer them together though so the white trees are on the bottom the iridescent trees are on the top just kind of centering it adding some hot glue and wiring these all together again and now to embellish you can add a bow like i did in the first one or i found this great perfect size snowflake ornament at dollar tree just added some hot glue to that and onto the wreath as well and plopped that right in the center to give me the most full and beautiful snowflake wreath here's a little tip too if you flip it to the back side grab two of the branches twist them at the top kind of flip them into each other to make sure those are secure twist a little bit more we make a nice little loop for you now to be able to then hang your wreath or your snowflake on a door on a wall wherever you need a little pop of Christmas or winter decor. So you let me know down in the comments below, do you prefer the snowflake centerpiece or the bow centerpiece to these wreaths? I think they're both equally cute, just totally different looks. I wanna jump in here really, really quickly, throw a QR code up on your screen. It is for my free newsletter. I've had so many of you wonderful followers message me lately saying you're not getting updates or notifications from YouTube when new videos are released. So if you scan the QR code or I'll have a link down in the description box, you can join my free newsletter, which will be released just once a week. I promise not to bother you, but it will have all of the new info in that newsletter completely free. So check it out. 
and I'm sorry you're not getting notifications, but that is a great way to stay in the loop. Now let's get back to these mini Christmas tree hacks. Just like Easter, you can also find these mini trees during Valentine's Day. They are the prettiest color of pastel pink with a little bit of that iridescent color in them. I grabbed one for my She Shed Christmas tree. And I also think you can just grab some white trees and spray paint them pink if you can't find pink trees. Of course, probably not right now, but coming up very soon during Christmas time, they will put their Valentine's Day out. So keep that in mind. I also want to show you, if you follow me over on Instagram, you can find me at The Daily DIYer. I am reworking this whole wall in my studio and I'm making a cute and fun reel that I'll be posting over there. So head over to Instagram, follow me on the dailydiywire.com and you'll see this cute, fun wall come to life. It's not quite finished yet. Nonetheless, I'm loving the look of this little tree in my creative space. It'd be great for a kid's room, a nursery, or wherever you need a little pop of color. Then it made me think I need a larger one too. I wanted a bigger one for my creative space. So I'm going to be doing that with a broom handle from Dollar Tree. I took off the sticker and the handle to this broomstick and grabbed 10 of those pink Christmas trees back during Valentine's Day, or you can use white ones and spray paint them. Like I mentioned, we're going to take the first one, add some hot glue to that and insert that to the empty end of our broomstick and then we're going to add three to each layer of this broomstick working our way down in overlapping layers so it does help to use some hot glue and some duct tape to reinforce these trees we're doing two on the sides and one on the top and then duct taping these all together. I did three rows. Obviously, the more rows you add, the bigger your tree or the taller your tree is going to be, but three seem to be a good size for me. And then you need a container. So start hunting your house, find something a little bit heavy, a flower pot, something like this little vase that I had. And then we're going to scale down the size of our uh, pipe that we need to fit down in there. So to do that, I just marked it, took my hammer, hammered it flat below the mark and then took my tin snips to cut that down to size. It's very, very easy to do with these tin snips and then just hammered it back out so it was more in a cylinder shape. And then we're going to add some of this styrofoam from Dollar Tree to the bottom of the vase, adding a little bit of hot glue and then carefully inserting it into the vase and then popping it down to the bottom until that glue sets up. So this is what it'll look like down in there. I left the plastic on. That's kind of a tip to keep the mess down. And then we're going to stick our tree down into the styrofoam and then grab an old towel or a blanket and use that as stuffing to help hold your tree up in your container. You can also leave some of your towel out and it will cover up the container that you're using or tuck it all the way in. It's totally up to you. And then you can start fluffing your Christmas tree once you have it good and reinforced. You can see here that once we start fluffing it, you don't see any of that duct tape that we added to the center at all because it's all layered in there nice and you don't see it. You will have some extra little pieces that are kind of long that are random and you can just trim those off with some scissors. And then the fun part, you can start decorating your tree. I found these, I got them on clearance last year from one of my favorite um, creator websites. If I can find these again this year, I will link them down below for you. Just the cutest little felt snowman and reindeer and then some ornaments from Hobby Lobby thrown in there. So I hope this tutorial inspired you to create your own larger Christmas tree with Dollar Tree Christmas trees. It doesn't necessarily have to be a pink tree. You could use the traditional colored Christmas trees or the white ones too. If you're needing a larger tree, this is a great, simple and easy budget friendly way to create a larger tree of your own. So here's where I need you guys' ideas. You can leave them down in the comments below. You can also find these Halloween Christmas trees, of course, during Halloween time, and they are black and orange. I have no idea what to do with these for Christmas. So if you guys have ideas, leave those in the comments below. Maybe we can inspire each other. This next idea is a simple way to embellish a lantern for Christmas time. All you need is one of the regular Christmas trees. Just set it up like you normally would, fluff that tree really well, and then grab a bag of their mini pine cones you can get at Dollar Tree as well. And we're going to simply just start hot gluing these little mini pine cones onto the tree randomly. It definitely gives it more of a realistic look and helps out with the look and feel of the tree. 
Now we can start embellishing our lantern. I'm pretty sure I got this at Target. If I can find it, I will link it down in the description box below for you. I have dressed this up for summer, fall, and now this is a great Christmas idea. So I really love this lantern. I popped that Christmas tree in there into the back and then put a couple of the battery powered candles in front and filled it in with some more miniature pine cones to kind of give it that foresty look. And then what really gave this a really beautiful look was the addition of of some fairy lights from Dollar Tree. I just randomly pushed them around inside the lantern, mainly around the tree, but it also kind of helped fill up the inside and give it more of a glow. So pretty and a really inexpensive way to dress up a accessory like a lantern that you probably have and use year round. This is a really easy way to dress up a basket that you might have to help decorate your fireplace or a corner in your room for Christmas time. I put a pillow in the bottom of the basket to fill up some space and added a blanket in there and then some of these branches that you can of course go in your yard, grab them out and then use those mini Christmas trees from Dollar Tree as filler. That way we don't have to use so many of those sticks or also have to spend a lot of money on some nicer stems that are gonna go in the front of all of this. And the other addition of course is going to be some of the fairy lights from Dollar Tree. They just give you such a beautiful glow during the winter time and also at Christmas time. So just really easy to wire those into the basket and around the greenery and then keep the battery pack close so you're able to kind of pull it out turn it off and on when you need it very very easy also make sure you are kind of twisting and winding the dollar tree christmas trees with your nicer greenery and it will help incorporate it all together such an easy DIY, especially if you can get out into your yard and use some sticks from your yard and just a couple extra little nicer stems from Hobby Lobby. Now this next one I shared in my last video, but if you missed it, I had to throw it in there too because it also uses the Dollar Tree Christmas trees. So it's so fortunate. I'm pretty sure I gasped in the thrift store when I came across these used and old white ice skates because obviously these are so great for winter time and Christmas time for decorating. So I cleaned them up, added some Dollar Tree shopping bags to the inside where the ankle is to keep that open because otherwise it was just kind of closing in. And then we're going to take one of our Dollar Tree Christmas trees and kind of angle it into the skate and then we're going to lace the skate back up. So keep your eye out and open at thrift stores for these or maybe you can find them on Facebook Marketplace or a used website, eBay, something like like that to get your hands on some but we're gonna dress up this Christmas tree with some of these stems I found them on Amazon I'll link them down below for you it's a great way to turn these trees into ones that have a little bit more texture and makes them look a little bit more realistic whenever you add different types of greenery and fur stems in there and then these are new stems that I found from Dollar Tree. They're little buffalo check plaid ornaments on picks. And then these are also from Dollar Tree. They're little jingle bells on picks. So I put a couple of those into the skate as well. So easy and easy to just take these right back out and use them uh, as regular winter decor. If you want to take the Christmas stuff out, you can also add a bow to the side of this. If you want to add even more embellishment, I did not add a second tree to the back skate just since I was going to be leaning these up against the fireplace. You, didn't, you wouldn't necessarily really see it back there, but you could also double it up. Hang it from a mirror, hang it from an antique sled, get creative with this. A great way to add a little bulk to your skate while you add some extra embellishment too to give you the Christmas look. Now we're going to make some outdoor Christmas tree decor for our outdoor lights. You're going to need four trees for this. Two of them we're going to put on the side of a table and kind of bend them down. So we make a 90 degree bend at the bottom. Like I said, you're going to need to do this two times. So we have two trees with bends in them and two trees that are just left plain and straight. So right now we're gonna take one of the bent trees and one of the straight trees and kind of get the greenery out of the way. So we just have a flat side where we can get to the inside post. Take some hot glue and add some glue to your straight tree and then attach it onto the bar of the bent tree, just down a little bit and then glue those together, reinforce it with some floral wire and tie it all around there. It's basically going to elongate and add Add some more texture and bulk to these um, pieces that we're going to put together and 
use to embellish our outdoor lights. So after you get these all fluffed up, we're going to continue doing this process with the other two. So now we have two big fluffy side pieces and the bent sides, we're going to add some more hot glue to and some floral wire to, to attach those at the top. So what we've made here is one piece that is going to be enough to go on one light. So depending on how many outdoor lights that you have, you'll have to make more of these and repeat the process. And then you can embellish these with whatever you want, some ribbon. I just grabbed these berries from Hobby Lobby and pulled the stems apart so I could break them up and put them into the greenery. And then you just set them on your lights outside and it just adds some greenery, a pop of red. This would be pretty to add a little bit of ribbon to the top as well or a bow. You can wire these on or just set them on if you don't have too much wind in your area, but a great easy way and also affordable way to decorate your outside lights for Christmas. And I have two more great videos popping up on your screen. You can click over to see even more creative ideas using these mini Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. Thanks again for joining me today. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.